Today, we will be discussing an ancient fish known as the coelacanth. The first fossil of a coelacanth was found in 1839, and that specific species of the coelacanth was given the scientific name Coelacanthus granulatus. Some of the earliest coelacanth fossils date back to the Devonian period, around 400 million years ago. Some coelacanths were really big. For example, the coelacanth mausonia from the Cretaceous period, around 120 million years ago, had an estimated length of around 3 to 5 meters. Coelacanths generally have lobed fins, which means that some of their fins are supported by muscular and bony structures, meaning that they belong to a group of fish known as lobe-finned fish, which also includes modern-day longfish. Scientists used to think that the coelacanth went extinct at the end of the Cretaceous period, around 66 million years ago, in the same event that led to the extinction of the dinosaurs. In 1938, an extremely major discovery about the coelacanth that changed how scientists perceive this fish forever was made. The fish was actually still alive. It all started when a fishing trawler accidentally caught a coelacanth while trawling in the sea floor. When the fishermen sent the coelacanth to scientists, they were able to identify it as a coelacanth, but it did not belong to any genus of coelacanth previously known. For those who don't know, a genus is a taxonomical rank higher than a species, containing one or more species. So, they gave it a new genus name, Latimeria. Latimeria looked surprisingly similar to extinct coelacanths. Then, expeditions spanning from 1986 to 1987 were able to film a living coelacanth for the first time. There are two known species of modern-day coelacanths, the West Indian Ocean coelacanth and the Indonesian coelacanth. The modern coelacanth, also known as Latimeria, is quite large, with a length of around 170 centimeters and a mass of around 60 kilograms. Coelacanths generally live in relatively deep water and like to stay around underwater caves, which is part of the reason they avoided detection for so long. And that's the end of our video. Bye, see you next time.